super interesting angle to welcome you to another series of blooms for you. Thank you very much. If you're not going to click off within the first 30 seconds of seeing this amateur attempt at trying to film Epidendrum multiforme crossed with Epidendrum capricornum. Please do not be turned off. This is so hard to film, but I do have a cluster blooming going on, even though not all the buds are open yet, but I prefer cluster bloomings because I can dedicate them to everybody that watches this video at any given point in time, the day it gets aired or in the future, it matters not. You're here you're watching these blooms from Epidendrum multiforme and Capricorn Nu are for you. Welcome, if you're still here after all my disclaimers. I still have another spike up here. They're all a bit bashed. I didn't see them fast enough to pull the orchid away from the trellising. Oh, but I love these blooms. I'm a sucker for white and green. With age, there's going to be more of an obvious little lavender spotting right underneath the column there. They're not big. They are not fragrant but they're beautiful. Love them. They look like they have opened up like grapes for me. Pointing out that they're not big also, hey, <laughs> yes. That's probably the theme of this episode of Blooms for You. So let's go and have a look-see. Faye Lawson, I have a beautiful, beautiful little Lelia to give to you. Well, hang on a second. Where is she? Hello. Where is she? Oh, no, what happened? Where is she? Where is she? Oh my goodness, where'd she go? Oh, this is awkward. Um, Ta-da! <laughs> She's so small, we almost lost her. Anyway, let me get her up where she belongs. We can have a closer look. That's better. Faye Lawson. All jokes aside, she is so tiny. She is so tiny, I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to put a little bit of a spin on my dedication to you to say thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Because really, she is small. Index finger, pinky finger. But she has a great personality, <laughs> which I would like to show you. Oh my goodness, this is Lelia Ketiana. Meet Faye Lawson, Lelia Ketiana. Lelia Ketiana, Faye Lawson. Whoop, that was rude, sorry. Introductions first. Yeah, Lelia Ketiana, first time bloom. Has her own personality. Light training has gone really well. This growth clearly is the one that's blooming. This growth back here is the second growth going in the same direction towards the light as required by myself is the one that's blooming, but the direction of the bloom is going in the opposite way. How is that possible? <laughs> I never moved her from underneath the shelf of the Rapiculus Lelius because I didn't want the dry wind to blast the buds and I wanted them somewhat to bloom in the same direction. That was the plan and I was really pleased with the directions of the growths going in the same direction. Now I know how I can position her <laughs> and yet she has her own personality. She's got one that way, one going that way. Oh well, we'll just have to turn her. This one is only just opened you can see that the dry wind also has had an effect. So they might be really, really robust, especially for where they have to live and survive out in nature. So they do have all this robust traits, lots of chubby little cute storage organs, but the blooms, yeah, the blooms will suffer quite quickly if the conditions aren't 100% right. And of course, with my dry air, this time of year when it's hot, yes, they can tolerate a lot of wind. They love that, but not when it's going to singe the blooms the way it happens very quickly. But we still have the cutest little blooms to show for. And they sparkle in the sun. If I can show that without washing the color out. So Faye, Faye Lawson to be exact, my Lelia Ketiana, she blooms for you. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. I'm so glad we found her. <laughs> so glad that we have blooms to show. And I hope that you find them just as charming as I do. Thank you, Faye.
Surprise! From one mini to the next mini, I can tell you, I would have loved to have pulled that where are you stunt again, because it also fits for this orchid. But for A.M. Thomas, I have in bloom for the very first time, my Neophenicia falcata Gojo Fukurin. Yeah, I am surprised too. If you've been following my channel, you're probably going, what? That orchid is in no shape to be blooming or get that spike off straight away. I couldn't. <laughs> I wanted to see it. Yeah, she shouldn't be blooming. But look at how tiny these blooms are. This is not your standard Neophenicia falcata bloom. This is like two sizes down and they aren't even big Neophenicia falcatas. But this one is two sizes down. And yes, she shouldn't be blooming, but how? Maybe I need to zoom in. That sun is taking out the white. Pure snow white. And I love it when they look like this, little horns sticking up, like little dragons. She is so tiny, to be honest with you. I haven't even tried to see if there is a fragrance at night. I'm afraid of inhaling her. <laughs> it's true, I promise. I have not gone near her except for the regular flushing that I'm doing. But I don't want to be like, and then whoop, I've got orchid in my nose. That's not happening. And no, I shouldn't let her bloom, but my goodness, we have been battling with this one since I received her. I don't think I have any roots in the pot. These two aerial ones have stopped growing basically because it's just gotten too dry. But the Akadama is still keeping this orchid happy with the humidity on the surface of the pot and providing enough around the orchid and around the leaves. But yeah, isn't that just adorable? <laughs> I am so charmed when I saw that spike coming out. I'm in my head, I was, no, no, you can't do this. Cut it off. And then there was the other voice on the other side of the shoulder saying, go on, you deserve to see the bloom. And then you see them and then it's like, okay, that's what you're about. You're cute. You're not as big as I thought you were going to be. I'm guessing she's not totally fragrant. I'm guessing, like all Neos are. But there is a white about this bloom. It smacks you in the face. White. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Screenshot. A.M. Thomas. Let me not forget what this is all about. Thank you very, very much for supporting my channel. I hope that you're into small, delicate orchid blooms. I wouldn't know. I'm just hazarding a guess. I just think they're divine. Totally whimsical, charming, magical. Thank you, A.M. Thomas, for your support on my channel. Very, very much appreciated. Coilostylus Parkinsoniana. It is a pleasure for me to be able to give three blooms away one to Scandi Orchids, one to Carol Sykes, and one to Granny Fanny. Thank you to the three of you. I have three blooms to give away, and I'm really pleased about that. I found a kind of way to be able to present this orchid so I can film her. Yeah, I don't know if I've succeeded. She is pretty to look at on a shelf, but very difficult to film. The blooms are super large. You can hardly really appreciate their structure because of where they're going. Then there's a background, I'm so sorry, but they're gorgeous. So there's one, two, and a third one for Scandi Orchid, Carol Sykes, and Granny Fanny. Thank you, thank you so much for your support on my channel. My Coilostylus Parkinsoniana has now been open. Uh, let me see, let me see, two weeks. Beautifully fragrant at night. I consider it like lily of the valley, but a, if you were to think of a dull fragrance, lily of the valley, it's not as pungent, not as strong, but it's similar. I wanted to have her a little bit in the sun just to show you all the beautiful details of this bloom. So if they've been open two weeks, we're gonna get another possibly two months out of these. Eventually, I'm going to think they're fake, but they're not. <laughs> Just very long lasting. Scandi Orchids, Carol Sykes, and Granny Fanny. Thank you very much for your support on my channel. 
my Coilos stylus, Parkinsoniana, she blooms for you. If the smell of golden syrup, burnt molasses mixed with golden syrup is something that you enjoy, even brown sugar, you get the really, really good brown sugar. That is the fragrance of Prostechia cochleata. And if you like that kind of a fragrance, then this orchid is definitely something you might be interested in. That is what she smells like. And you don't have to search for the fragrance. It is obvious in your face, like a hot washcloth. <laughs> it's, it really is um, a very, very strong and intense fragrance. I have two spikes in bloom at the moment for my house's green channel. The name itself is in Korean. I'm going to try and attempt a copy and paste but I went to Google Translate and they translated it to me as my house is green. So I hope that is correct. Also, Linda Skull and Fiona McIntosh and Sharon Richardson. The reason I have chosen four is because two per spike that I want to say thank you to your support for very, very much. And also these spikes this year are very much more abundant in their blooms and I can be a little bit more spread out my thank yous and get to more and more of those people that have commented and subscribed. I still have, can you believe it, another spike coming. So this orchid here is pretty vigorous and I'm really pleased about it because she's already starting on new growth. Look at all that, one, two, three, four, five new growths. That's a first, and she's only just been repotted and refreshed last year, 2020. Hmm, no, I'm not gonna do it again, not this year. We'll wait a year, just let her be her and do her thing. Let those five new growths develop, but isn't she pretty? Now, she was not my first choice. She was bought as Prostechia lancifolium, and I'm seeing a little aphid there come off. Yes, I wanted the Prostechia lancifolium. If I wanted a cochleata, I would have bought a cochleata, but oh well, here we are. I've got a cochleata. Not like I'm going to send her back after all these years, right? But I hope that my house's green channel, Linda Skull, Fiona McIntosh, and Sharon Richardson, that you are partial to cochleata blooms. Maybe you are partial to that molasses brown sugar fragrance as well. While she's with me, she's doing well, and I'm so pleased that I can dedicate these blooms to you as a thank you for your support here on my channel. They have only just opened maybe two weeks ago as well, but now that they're opening fast, they can also drop relatively quickly from the base while new buds will open at the top. But I like a spike that still has buds to open because that is a much fresher look. They are a little bit further away, not because of their pungent fragrance, but because if I bring them into the sun, the detail will get lost. That's a little bit of a close up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very, very much for supporting my channel, for watching and commenting and subscribing. Very much appreciated. I am happy to introduce you to Dendrobium bensonier. Loho, vielen herzlichen Dank. Sofort warst du da, als ich gefragt habe, wer bist du? Diese Dendrobium habe ich keine Ahnung gehabt. Sollte als Unikum ankommen, aber hier sind wir und ich habe sowas noch nie gesehen. Und ich bedanke mich recht herzlich bei dir, dass du mir den Namen dieser Dendrobium gegeben hast. So Loho, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. You are right out of the gate to give me the identification of this Dendrobium. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed. Now that I have a unicum that is somewhat doing well, we're not quite out of the woods yet, but I have a unicum. If this had turned out to be the Dendrobium bensoniae after my unicum has failed, then I would be very, very disappointed to say the least, but not in this case, because she's beautiful and I love white. I love white blooms. And she's quite interesting, actually. It takes quite a long time for the buds to develop. But when she starts out and just opens, the throat is actually sort of like a greeny yellow. It 
it's all like an like a, an egg gone off. <laughs> I know that's not a great color representation. Uh, forgive me if that grossed you out, but that's what it looked like to me. Or like the rim of a hard boiled egg that was boiled just for a touch too long. That color is what the throat starts out with, but it has a depth to it. It's not, it's not off-putting. And then it just turns into this gorgeous egg yolk yellow. And if you're interested to see how she has been nicknamed because of a comment that made me laugh <laughs> and on the community post, just go check out my community post. I'm not going to say it here because you may never unsee it once you know what she has been named from here on in. One day I'll bring it up when she's not exactly in bloom because then we can, you know, if you want to, you can forget that memory and never think of it again. If you're interested, check out my community post. Someone made a correlation with something else, and yes, I see it, I can't unsee it. But it's cute, it's funny. So in my collection, she has a specific name. We'll get around to that another day. For now, Loho, thank you so very, very much for the identification of this dendrobium. It's been very interesting to see what this could turn out to be, especially when the buds started to show white and not orange. Other than that, the orchid is doing really well. One of the canes is already maturing beautifully, still growing, and there's a second growth at the base. New roots are a go. Perfect. This is how I like my dendrobiums. New growth, new roots, and in bloom. Oh yes, and the fragrance. Sweetened whipped cream. That's the closest I can describe this fragrance. It's like a cream, but it's sweet. And then when I think a little bit harder about it, it is like a sweetened whipped cream. Delicious, not very obvious, not very strong, but it's there and it is also very, very welcome. Loho, vielen Dank für deine Unterstützung hier auf meinem Kanal und meine Dendrobium Benzonie blüht für dich. Grüß dich, Paprika Girl. Für den Fall, dass du dieses Video siehst, möchte ich meine Lelia Poporata, Variety Werkhäuseri, an dich geben. Als ein Dankeschön, dass du meinen Kanal besuchst, meine Videos anschaust, ab und zu auch einen Kommentar abgibst. Alles das unterstützt den Kanal sehr. Und dafür bin ich sehr dankbar. Paprika Girl, my Lelia Poporata, Variety Werkhäuseri, she blooms for you. Thank you ever so much for your support here on my channel. I got to get in there quick. I don't want the blooms to fade. I'm seeing a little bit unusual sign of fading so quickly. So I do apologize that they weren't super pristine. Had some really, really difficulty with the wind outdoors lately. And indoor filming is challenging with a screeching cockatoo in the background. You see, as I pull her into the sun, although you may be able to see the sparkles on the petals and sepals, the detail kind of gets washed out. There's a lot of reflection on that pure white of the petals and sepals. I'll scoot her back into the shade. That's a bit better, maybe. Her fragrance is still very, very strong. Cream, lemon sherbet pie. There's no doubt about it for me and my nose. She has a very, very elegant and beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Anyway, Paprika Girl, thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going well for you throughout the summer. I appreciate your support here on my channel and look forward to seeing what you think about my choice as a bloom dedication for you. To say goodbye, I did not move her. <laughs> nope. Now where she lives in my blooming alley, she is in a precarious position here right now. One little slight breeze can knock her over because she is very, very top heavy, as you can tell. Big orchid, but I love it. So thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everybody. Take care and stay safe. Bye.